This is Coxter. Welcome to the second part of my deconversion story. So I'm six years old and over is the beautiful time of Dolce Far Niente, the sweet doing nothing at the landside. It's about going to school now. First year, first real contact with religion, and I have absolutely no memory what the state-employed priest was teaching me during the two weekly hours of religious education. The same for the second class. Too many new impressions and education is brought to us children. In the first class, alphabetization in the foreign German language, and in the second class already our official national language French is brought to us. Far too much to give a special attention to what is considered as useless by my family. This changed radically when, at my age of eight, my mother inherited the little farm from my grand-grandmother. This farm was at the first view and for many years a poisonous gift and how we see later a drama for myself. How could a railway worker who had just enough money to feed his family borrow money to renovate an over 200 year old house without water or electric supply? My father took a credit from a loan shark in 1970 at 5% of interest who became during the oil crisis of the 70s quick 13% and brought the family on the edge of existence. And I changed from my little town school to this little village of my grand-grandparents where we were no more called by our real family name but by the traditional house name. It was not easy for me to come to this village to change school and to find new friends. As small as Luxembourg is, I even spoke a different dialect and cruelty of children, I was much bullied as an alien. Religion? Now I was forced by my parents to go to church. What would the neighbors say if I didn't? How would the village gossip be if I didn't? I went to church and I did it with pleasure. The few new friends I made came from very pious religious families and my best friend during this time is today a Catholic priest. I made my first communion at age 9, a year later than usual in this village parish, because in my old town the communion was in third class and here in the village in second class. I was a very good student and had no problems with my village priest because of my new devotion, devotion to the Catholic faith, so that he asked me to become an altar boy, which I accepted with great pleasure. This involved that I had two weeks my church service for a whole week. The service was every morning before school, serving the Mass, every Sunday the early Mass at 7 a.m., the High Mass at 11, at 3 p.m. the Vespers, and at 8 p.m. the Devotion Mass. Nobody else from my whole family found it necessary to go to church because I did well enough to replace the devotion for all of them. Just my younger brother had to do it for two years until his first communion and after turned back to our family's traditional paganism. Me, as altar boy service free week, I spend it at the church choir. How would this end? To know more, please come back for the third part of my deconversion story. <laughs>